So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 23 of the AFC Wimbledon Road to the Champions League and we kick off this episode with a game against Degenham then we move on to a game against Plymouth and then finally we have a game against Southend and here we make some substitutions bring in on a few players we brought on Midson Fort Raman because Dagenham were actually near the bottom at this time and as you know, episode number 22, if you haven't seen it, I really advise you to go and check it out as it was the final of the Carling Cup and as you know, we did actually beat Liverpool on penalties to win the Carling Cup so we are now champions of something. So in our first season of AFC Wimbledon, we win one of the hardest cups so which was absolutely incredible but the FA Cup I can't, I don't actually, I don't remember whether we're still in that Carling Cup or we're not in it, I don't remember. But anyway, we start off here with um, a through ball, lovely to long, long plays out to Kiernan. Kiernan's on the edge of the wing, he cuts back into, or has a nice cross, the ball does go out for a throw-in in the fifth minute, but the throw-in gets awarded to them, they take the throw-in, and we win the ball straight back through Lucas Pearson. Lucas Pearson played it to Midson. Midson should score from there, but the keeper of an absolutely outstanding save there to make the score or to keep the scoreline at 0 0. Unfortunately, they do go through here with through Scott, and they got through and they cut or had a nice header and with a volley there into the back of the net from Elito in the 14th minute to put Dagenham 1 0 up against AFC Wimbledon. So it wasn't really the best of starts, especially in the 14th minute. We were looking to try and get a good win against these, but it wasn't looking very popular at the moment. And Taylor does manage to get through here using his sheer speed, plays a nice ball to Long, and the keeper makes a good save, and then Long misses from pretty much about two yards out, which I would have thought he should have got it on target there. But their defence, we did make a very, very good tackle there. The ball goes flying up. We get the ball back through Keenan. Keenan to Francom, Francom loses the ball, they go through with Scott once again, he turns them on the fender, plays it through and uh, they do. we do make a good save but then they get the rebound to slot the ball into the back of the net which then put us 2-0 down against Dagenham so we wasn't, it, it definitely looked like we weren't going to come back from this now considering we were 2-0 down they got lucky from the deflection from Seb Brown. It was a good save, I see there, but they did get the deflection and it went in. We did then go on the attack and we get the ball back here through Taylor. Taylor um, cuts back or goes out to the wing, uses fake shot, comes back inside, plays a nice ball to Roman. Roman with a good shot there, puts it into the back of the net in the 90th minute. We do collect the ball to see if we can make anything of this lead um, or of this goal we just scored, but it turned out just to be a consolation. And the game did actually finish 2-1-2 um, Dagenham Redbridge. So it was at Dagenham. So I'm I'm not too I'm not too disappointed to be honest. But that was what annoyed me. Raman should be uh, sorry, Midson should be scoring from there. But um, Moore got an 8.3 rate in there, and I was surprised that Keenan only got a 5.6. But anyway, that's besides the point. We did then have a very hard game up next against Plymouth Argyle. Plymouth were fourth in the league, as you saw there. Um, so I was I needed needed to try and win this to give me a chance of pushing further up the table. I believe I'm first at the moment, so but I do have a game in hand. So because of all the cup games I have been playing, I have got one or two games in hand on the other people because I'm in still in the Carling Cup or I won the Carling Cup, the FA Cup, the Johnson Paint Trophy. And I think a lot of these teams in this did actually get knocked out the Carling Cup. or well, the Carling Cup is finished anyway, but a lot of them have been knocked out the FA Cup. So I'm not too... So the thing is, though, what I don't like is that because I only have, like, 11 good players, when they do get injured or they get out of breath, not out of breath, sorry, but out of energy, there isn't that good of people to bring on. But I'm not... But it's good, though, because we do have a good atmosphere at the club and... They do all support each other, which I'm very pleased about, and that everyone is treated equally, to be honest. So, that's basically it. So, we do then kick off 
or I'm sorry these substitutions are taking a little bit long because I changed pretty much nearly everything but we do then go into this game now against Plymouth they do have one of the players Grivies who is one of the top goal scorers in the league so he is the one to keep an eye out for because he's the top scorer in the league and we do not want to let him have any free space because we know that he can punish us so that's the person we've got to keep an eye on which is Grivies or Grivies, Grivies. so we're starting off here at Town Park so we are at home their actual stadium isn't called Town Park and I'm a little bit ashamed of this because I don't actually know their real stadium but anyway for in the fourth minute here they did have a good attack and Grivies over a good header but fortunately for me his header did just go a little bit wider the post so we carried on going and you know AFC Wimbledon we just keep going unfortunately they did get through once again and they tripped us up they tripped us up and they got through but Seb Brown an absolutely outstanding save there and gets up quick to catch the loose ball and we do then from this um, we win the ball there through McDonald. McDonald wins the ball once again, very well played. He cuts or keeps going, plays it to Pryor. Pryor with an absolutely beautiful goal there into the back of the net in the 18th minute to put us 1-0 up against Plymouth, which is absolutely brilliant for us as Plymouth were fourth and we was going to pull out an even bigger gap on Plymouth if we could keep on to this lead. So we did keep we did hold on for a while and but they did have chances as you see here they did have a good chance they were they did get lucky reflections and we do get the ball cleared through Harris Harris plays up to Pryor prior to Merrifield Merrifield plays a nice ball through to Yacien with a lovely ball through to Jolly and Jolly it was through on goal he should score that but the keeper makes a very very good save there in the 45th minute to deny Jolly from scoring and to keep the scoreline at us winning 1-0 we do then get the ball through Jolly, running down the wing, plays a nice ball back to Yashien, play it to Pryor, Pryor with a good shot and the keeper makes a save and it does go out for a corner. Merrifield here puts a lovely ball in the box and Mitchell King there or ducks under the ball, McNaughton has a lovely control there and a touch of a striker and he's a centre back. So that's brilliant as you see here from the replay, look at this for a touch, touch and underneath the keeper, brilliant goal there from Mitchell King. Um, they did then go on the attack once again and they put a nice ball in but look at that for keeping from Seb Brown that is very brave and we throw the ball up through Cummings Cummings to Mitchell King Mitchell King plays it up to Merrifield Merrifield decides to have a little run down the wing look at that for a ball um, Harris keeps running and Harris doesn't stop gives it to Yoshi and Yoshi have a shot into the back of the net to put us 3-0 up against Plymouth Argyle so we were doing absolutely incredible here, three new up against Plymouth, which I'm very very happy about, considering Plymouth were a very good side. And there's the replay of that goal. So they did then get another chance, and they Grivies here with a nice control there, plays a nice ball through to Larry, who has a good header, and it does actually find its way into the back of the net. So they did pull one back in the 67th minute, but it did turn out just to be a consolation goal as we then. Uh, held on for the win and we ended up winning 3-1 so um, we were happy with that there and McDonald with an 8.9 rating and Pryor with an 8.5 rating which I was very pleased about we do then go into the team management sorry and um, we do go into well we did complicate ourselves there we didn't actually want to do anything but um so we did then go on against South End United and this reminds me of can't remember his name someone does a South End United career mode and I watch him all the time oh god I can't remember his name anyway someone does a South End career mode and I watch it all the time and he's got Benzia and that anyway it doesn't matter so we do go into a game against South End South End are quite a good team and they have some reasonably good players and Lucas Pierce on there we decide to take off and put Pryor on and we also decide that we have to rest um, Stacey Long. The reason why this is, is because we've got important matches coming up and I didn't believe that South End was that an important match for us because of um, 
Well, because it's in the league, but I believe that we could have we could beat these with the squad that I was going to put out. As you see there, I changed pretty much the whole squad. So I was I was pretty risking it a little bit because of that. But we did then put Merrifield on the wing once again, and a lot of these players were were quite low on energy, but I wasn't too bothered to be honest. And we do then play uh that's the team pretty much. Keenan was the only one that really survived the main bit and Seb Brown. And they do have some good players in the likes of Smith and Gold, Presley, Stalker, Core, Smith, Hall, Timlin. So they do have some good players, which them players could potentially punish me. So we do know we had to give it our all in this game. And, well, that's it really. We had to give it our all. Also, um, I believe that I'm going to be uploading more Chelsea crew modes this week. Because of, I just had the urge to play with Chelsea this week. So I'm sorry if you like this series, but it obviously I keep uploading these videos. And prior there, unfortunately, uh, when he does win the header, but unfortunately the keeper does collect the ball um, to stop Pryor from converting it in from close range. But Pryor here with a lovely ball to Keenan. Keenan with his pace runs, collects the ball before the defender, plays it out to Pryor. Pryor on the edge of the box and a beautiful shot into the back of the net. In the 45th minute, to put us 1-0 up against Southend, which I was delighted about because there was nothing much happening in this game. It was a pretty boring game and a pretty shite game, to be honest. But Pryor livened it up with a beautiful shot with his weak foot there, so he put it into the back of the net. So we did then keep pressuring in, and Midson here has a chance on the edge of the box, takes a very good shot, and the keeper makes a reasonably good save and push it up wide. And we do try and win the header, but unfortunately we couldn't win the header. And that was how the game finished. We did win 1-0 against Southend away from home in the, through uh, Jason Pryor, which I was happy about. And But um, McNaughton did actually get a 9.1 rating and man of the match. So as you see, there's some few more results. Wickham lost 2-0, which was good because Wickham were at the top. And Rochdale won, but they were at the top as well. And Plymouth Argyle drew. So it was quite good results for us all around the table. So I was pleased that we had won and that a lot of the teams above at the top had lost or drawn. As you see there, we did have the FA Cup quarter-final against Manchester City. So we're coming to the end of this episode, so if don't forget to check out the next episode to watch the Manchester City game. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe prior to the man in form. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And that's it really, so bye-bye.